The old abandoned mansion had always been a source of fascination for the townsfolk. It stood tall and imposing on the outskirts of the town, with its ivy-covered walls and creaky shutters. It was said that the mansion had been abandoned for decades, ever since the mysterious disappearance of its owner, Mr. Blackwood. One night, a group of teenagers dared each other to explore the mansion. They thought it would be a fun way to spend the evening, but they had no idea what was waiting for them inside. As they stepped inside the mansion, they were immediately enveloped by an eerie silence. The air was thick with dust and the musty smell of neglect. The floorboards creaked beneath their feet, and they could hear the faint sound of dripping water in the distance. They made their way through the grand foyer, with its towering ceilings and grand staircase. It was like something out of a horror movie, with cobwebs in every corner and a faint glow emanating from the shadows. As they explored the first floor, they heard strange noises coming from the upper levels. It sounded like someone or something was moving around up there, but they couldn't quite make out what it was. As they climbed the stairs, the air grew colder and the feeling of unease grew stronger. It was as if the mansion was alive, and it didn't want them there. They reached the top of the stairs and found themselves standing in a long, dark hallway. The doors to the rooms were closed, but they could hear muffled sounds coming from behind them. They were hesitant to open any of the doors, but their curiosity got the better of them. As they opened the first door, they were met with an eerie sight. The room was filled with old dolls and toys, all with their eyes fixed on the doorway. It was like they were waiting for someone to come in. The next room was even more disturbing. It was like a laboratory, with strange instruments and equipment scattered around the room. But what caught their attention was the strange liquid in the center of the room. It was pulsating and bubbling, like something alive. As they moved to the next room, they heard a faint whispering sound. It was coming from the room at the end of the hall. They cautiously made their way towards it, with their hearts pounding in their chests. As they opened the door, they were met with a horrifying sight. Mr. Blackwood, the mansion's owner, was sitting in the center of the room. His skin was gray and lifeless, and his eyes were empty. But what was most disturbing was the fact that he was surrounded by dozens of dolls, all with their eyes fixed on him. The teens tried to run, but the door slammed shut behind them. They were trapped with Mr. Blackwood and his dolls, with no way out. They could hear his voice in their heads, telling them that they would never leave the mansion alive. And they knew that they were doomed to be his new playthings, just like the dolls that surrounded him. <laughs>